Hey, Leo Collective. How are you all doing? Happy birthday once again. Let's pull some cards for you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rules if you need to. We have burdened heart. Obligations, burdens, difficulty. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. Okay. Some of you could be connected to a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. <laughs> we have contest, competition, and fighting. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? We have sweet talker wants something. Hmm. And bottom of the deck we have obsessed. I'm yours. You're mine. The chemistry is insane. I can't keep my hands off of you. Okay. What in the world is going on here? <clears throat> the craft, magic, chemistry, secrets, something you don't know. Opportunists only calls when they need you. And cheater. Okay, what is this negative energy, y'all? So, this reading is going to be for those of you who might be in a karmic situation because Leo hasn't been getting these like really troublesome readings, especially when it comes to love. But for some of you, you could be really um, dealing with a lot right now emotionally. You could be dealing with someone who puts you in competition with other people. But this person is a sweet talker and, you know, they come on strong when they want to, but they do have secrets. It says secret lovers, possibly. Um so this could be someone that you know is in another relationship and maybe you two are like not out in the open with your connection or this could be something they're doing behind your back. Interesting. Opportunist and cheater. So we do have unstable foundation, gingerbread house. So for some of you, this might actually be that you're dealing with someone who does have another situation. You are aware of it. But this person is saying that they want out of the situation because it's not happy for them. But maybe they still kind of give you bare minimum, like breadcrumb you. I don't know what I'm picking up here. Whose heart is burdened? The two of swords. Somebody that can't make a decision. Could be a Libra. What's going on with the two of swords? Talks about being torn between two options and something being a difficult choice it doesn't have to be another person but considering we have this cheating energy oh yes it is y'all look what came out the three of swords third party okay so somebody is is burdened because they don't know who's hard to break if that makes any sense they know that they have that they know that they have to hurt someone but they don't know who they want to you know it's hard to choose right could be a libra strong libra energy showing up here interesting what is this energy? Yeah, burdens weighing heavy on the heart. You get the heartbreak card. So you have the star in reverse. You never get the star in reverse, Leo. Could be an Aquarius. So this is like something just... It's like some of you could be losing faith in someone. Or you might be feeling a lot more pessimistic. 333 was just on the timer. You might be feeling a lot more pessimistic about this situation. Especially if there's a third party. So again, this is not for those of you who are in a happy relationship. Yeah, the tower. Okay, so for some of you, this suddenly ended. It could be a Scorpio and Aries. I feel like somebody here has put you in a situation where you feel like you just can't win. We do have contests and competition. So for some of you, this is outside influences that could even include family or friends. It doesn't have to be another love, but it feels like it might be. Spirit, so clarify what this is for me. What is this third party? What's the third party? What's the third party here? The Eight of Swords. Could be fear for somebody. Somebody could also be incarcerated. Could be a Gemini. Someone is in their head. They're overthinking. Yeah, the two of wands. So, okay, so somebody feels stuck in another situation that it feels like they're trying to detach from. Could be a Gemini. Could be an Aries. It could be any of these signs that I've said. Yes, yeah, like somebody here has to end something. And I want them to know. I don't know if it's you or them. It's going to end because the tower is here. 444 four, four in the timer. And unlike 444, four, four, this is not stable. There's something that's not stable here. Somebody could be losing hope in another relationship and maybe they're wanting to be with you. 
What is this person wanting to choose or what are they going to choose? I don't like their energy today. I don't know who this person is, who this reading is for, but I'm not liking their energy. That King of Swords that came up for you yesterday with the Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So look, you might have a choice between two people. And we talked about this yesterday, but some of y'all feel like there's new love coming and there's a past person that's just like emotionally unavailable. And there's this very stable person here that is interested in you. There could even be three people because this is three people here. And it could be an earth sign, an air sign, or a water sign person, namely an Aquarius or a Taurus or any of the water signs. The water sign could be younger than you and the other two could be your age or older. We're talking at least 40 years old. But the water sign might be younger. And it's like this, this page of cups, the emotions are facing this king of swords. And I think I told y'all this yesterday, you might have a difficult choice between two people. Somebody that you know is more stable because remember yesterday it was the emperor that came out in competition with this. That's what the contest is. Somebody's fighting over you. Mm. Let's move these and let's get to this contest. What is going on here? There could be two people fighting over you. Y'all just have to flip this however you need to. We have the two of cups here. It's like somebody is either competing for your heart or this is you competing for someone's heart. And not necessarily that you're... Yeah, look at this. The competition card. The drama card. The five of wands. Keeps coming out for you. I'm going to take these two. So we have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, and Cancer are here. So there's definitely something going on here. It's like somebody is just trying to figure themselves out. Page of Swords. They're thinking before they act. They're being strategic. They're planning something. And they're getting clarity. For some of you, there will be a conversation that will happen over the next week between you and... I don't know if it's you and two people, if you're in the middle of two people, or you and a person who has you in a third party situation. There's a third party situation here. This is definitely competition and fighting. Now, the interesting thing about the Five of Wands is it talks about everybody being on a level playing field. It usually represents friendly competition, but depending on the cards it comes out with and what is clarifying, you'll know if it's telling you it's friendly. It's not friendly because it's showing up as contest, competition, and fighting. Now, this could be if you are in a third party situation, if you are the one that is one of two options, somebody is choosing you. And there's some other people here that may not like that. Okay. Yeah, it feels like some of you, it's like you're just ready for some kind of breakthrough with this in this relationship or whatever you have going on. And interesting, you got the same thing that happened yesterday. I believe this happened in your reading yesterday where you had the Ten of Wands energy and the Nine of Wands energy. So the Ten of Wands, which is the burden heart, is getting to the top of that mountain. It's an uphill battle and you finally reach a level of accomplishment or burnout, okay? So, uh, yeah, something here is is coming to, um, it's getting to that fork in the road where somebody has to choose. So somebody is planning and strategizing, but some, it's like a difficult decision for someone. Why is it so difficult for them? Yeah, third party on the bottom as well, cancer energy. Why is this a difficult decision? For you or them. I don't know which one of y'all are choosing between two people. Because there's unconditional love. The Empress. There could be children involved or a marriage. Show me more about the Empress. And we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy. With the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, this is this person's family that you don't get along with. And I think I told y'all this several times before. Somebody is choosing you. It's like somebody has been struggling either to choose you because of issues with their family, their friends, or another relationship, or this is your energy, or there's been other things coming in the way, business, money, responsibilities, whatever have been getting in the way, but this person loves you unconditionally. And I've been telling y'all that it feels like they are putting their foot down with other people who have been butting in to your romance, to your connection. This person is telling other people, back off. So what does this sweet talker want something? Because it just doesn't, y'all, y'all person hasn't been coming out like this. Now, like I said, there could be two people that you're dealing with and maybe this is a past person's energy that you're still 
deciding whether you want to be with them. Now, who's the sweet talker? I mean, we do have a page of cups, and the page of cups to me sometimes feels a little sneaky. I don't know. Like somebody acting innocent when they really aren't. So now you have another person showing up, the King of Wands, Leo energy. Okay, what's the King of Wands? Three of Wands. <laughs> Aries energy, sweet talker, huh? Want something. So this is somebody here that could be extremely attractive. This could be somebody who does have um, a very persuasive personality, very confident, very charismatic, very charming, very good in bed, those kind of things. And this could be someone who knows how to reel you back in every time you turn your back on them. Because as you can see, this person's back is turned to this king of wands. So for some of you, it's like this person, int their interest grows for you when you turn your back. When you start dating other people and you have other people showing up here so if y'all are single y'all been dealing with especially a fire sign or an air sign who hasn't been treating you right there there's someone else here i feel like an earth sign or a water sign um and it could be an aries as well just picking up on yesterday's energy that is a better option for you what's going on with the sweet talker this person thinks they look so good they can get whatever they want but the king of wands is fine Yes, he is. That's big D energy for my ladies out there. You know, the emperor in reverse. Oh, I just talked about him. So this king of wands is showing up as the emperor in reverse. So this is a narcissist. This is somebody who's emotionally unavailable. This is somebody who talks a good game. They come in charming. They come in complimenting you. They come in with gifts and dates and things like that. As you can see, he has her smiling or whatever, but it's not going to last. So this is like a past person. And the emperor is usually a father figure, a husband, a baby daddy, or something like that. It could also be a feminine, so flip it if you need to. It's usually masculine energy, though. But this is distorted masculine energy. So this could be somebody's deadbeat daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like your child's father, and they don't even take care of the kids. What is this? But they want to hold on to you. Yeah, they come in bringing gifts for some of you. Okay, so maybe they don't take care of the kids, but it's like they use money or gifts to try to woo you to keep you happy. You know what I mean? Or they see somebody generous coming into your life, Taurus energy. So we have obsessed. We have the craft, magic and chemistry. Definitely somebody who's a smooth talker. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo. And then secrets, something you don't know about with opportunists. Cheater. Only calls when they need you. And it says that they want something gingerbread house. So for some of you, this could be a marriage or relationship that has been unstable for you. There's a distorted masculine here. I hate when I've got my cards up. Yeah, there's a distorted masculine. Let's, let's see. I don't know. Yeah, somebody is about to reach out to you. I feel like it's this problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the problem, the devil. So there's communication coming from possibly a Sagittarius or a Capricorn or somebody on the cusp. They don't have to be. I feel like there's someone here that wants you to walk away. Somebody else is admiring you, Leo. For those of you who are in a toxic situation, dealing with someone with addiction, sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever it might be, there's a, a King of Cups person. Like I said, there's a water sign or an earth sign I really feel coming into your life because you have literally all the kings on the table but i feel like the king of wands and the king of swords are problems so a fire sign or an air sign might be an issue and then you have this energy of scorpio cancer by scorpio and um taurus virgo capricorn strong taurus and strong scorpio wanting you to walk away this person feels like you're too good for a situation they want to be the ones to really put you on a pedestal and we talked about that already yesterday and i think the day before or the day before it may not have been yesterday but there's somebody here wanting to put you on a pedestal wanting to admire you they already admire you but wanting to show it they need you to walk away from some other situation though but I feel like your feelings are still caught up with someone else. Let's get a piece of advice, y'all. Because I was supposed to be off today, but I had a couple of minutes. So I'm like, let me just do some readings for a couple of signs. And y'all know y'all going to be included. What's the advice for 
Leo. I know this is a little bit disjointed, but I'm getting that for some of you. There's two people, either you're torn between, and I kind of feel like it is you, but some of you, it may be you're dealing with someone who has another option. We have your talents and gifts are calling you. I can't just take that one. It's not good enough. I mean, we do have the King of Wands, one to the Three of Wands. So for some of you, Spirit is saying to take action on something that will be successful for you. Be patient, put the work in, and go after it with confidence. This could be unexpected money coming in. You're meant to build this legacy, this empire, this wealth. Ten of Pentacles comes out for you. Remember the yesterday or the day before you got all the other tens except the Pentacles. But you always pull the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. And that talks about a lot of money, a lot of financial stability, inheritance. So we have follow what lights you up. So Spirit wants you to follow your heart here. I feel like there's going to be, if not already, there's going to be somebody that comes into your life that puts you in a situation where you have to leave a past person to be with them. And they are a much better option. But for some of you, it's going to pull at your heartstrings because you really do still care about a past person. If you don't care about a past person, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe this ain't your reading, y'all. We have make the choice that empowers you. Exactly. And what is the butterfly? The butterfly represents transformation. The butterfly represents death and rebirth. It represents an ending and a new beginning. So there is something toxic you need to let go of. You, you, I don't know, y'all. I understand this could be, you could be a cross watcher. This could be flip. Maybe this is a Leo doing this to you. I don't know, but I feel like Spirit wants you to like broaden your horizons here. Like there are other options available for you. This is the card of like, what else is out there for me? And it could be that as soon as you do this, this King of Wands person starts chasing you because he definitely takes action. He goes for what he wants. He's a leader. You know, he's very proactive. And so there's like this feeling of you being stuck because you do have maybe a child or history or marriage or something with this person. Or this is the person you're dealing with. And somebody has this way of disarming because they are so good looking. They can just kind of sweep you off of your feet, especially if they're coming in with these gifts, because this is generosity. Like somebody taking you out on dates and spoiling you with compliments and text messages and all that good stuff. So I would just say, you know, I don't know which side of this you fall on, but something is getting old and somebody's going to have to choose. A choice has to be made and it's not easy. OK, so it ain't easy for you. Or it's not easy for the person you're connected to. Those are your messages. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.